All right, here we go. This is a custom 1v1 on Chasm between the blue player in the upper left, Cold Fusion in the Deep Sea. Oh my god, I couldn't, I almost didn't get it. Deep Sea Osprey um, with a Carl Deep Sea Osprey using, ooh, massing assassins right at the beginning of the game. And his opponent, the red player in the bottom right, going much more standard. Also in an Osprey, it is the Steampunk Osprey. And it is going to be Ob. And it does look like Cold Fusion. Man, that's a lot of assassins. Did he set it on anything? They are going to go for it. It does look like they're going to go for Y. I think they're going to go right past these units on the bridge. Uh, Cold Fusion immediately trying to scout Ob. Trying to see what he's going to do at the beginning of the game. Floating with two white stars and a blue star. Interesting. Unless I have my settings on, not on high. I don't remember what I changed it to recently. Uh, that might be that might be two gold stars. Never know. Never know. Because uh, gold stars turn white when it's medium settings. Either way, uh, Ob... Oh, did he realize that the, the assassins were coming? Did he realize that the assassins were coming? He did. He's just shooting on the ground. But it does look like Cold Fusion is taking advantage of this. Will he be able to finish off one of the Longhorn with two of his own? And uh, now is going to be pulling back. But now the assassins have finally made their way past. Will he be able to switch into T? He does switch into T. Ob is not reacting quite yet. Even though he does know the assassins are coming. I didn't even realize the, that he scouted them. But uh, now he is going to be cheese for sure, I think. I mean, he is no AoE. That's a lot of assassins. And Cold Fusion not landing to distract the tanks. Okay, there you go. The assassins do make it in. But they are going to go for the tanks first instead of walking into the outpost oh oh my god oh retreated the tanks oh but he's not okay yeah he could have just forced the assassins to walk away but instead he uh he retreated i guess he was not really familiar with how the assassin ai works but yeah right now um he is going to be facing a cheesed outpost in the form of this these assassins in there but uh Cold Fusion already has three Longhorn down on the field, but three, four Longhorn actually already already over here for Ob. I didn't even realize he had so many over here at the time, trying to get a neutralize. But Cold Fusion really dancing well around those uh, around those tanks, distracting their fire. But there's only one assassin left in the post, and it does go neutral. Ob will be able to take this outpost back, I think, because his creeps are going to go straight for it. However, he, uh, let's see these. Oh man, a couple of stopped assassins. That's exactly four though, so that's very interesting. Um, oh, and they will go for the creeps as they walk by, so they will start to finish off the creeps. Oh. Will be able to kill the rest of the assassins over here, but will Cold Fusion be able to come back and get the uh, this outpost back under his control in time? Will he be able to grab creeps? He is going to be able to grab some, but will O be able to do it first? Has four Longhorn already here over here, and does have two more in queue to support, so will he be able to get this? He has a couple of infantry, infantry well, creeps, walking toward the post, but Cold Fusion is already here with the four creeps. They, all four of them do walk in, and he now has to start moving O, oh, and he set his Longhorn to Y or to T, I'm not sure, before the post got neutralized. So he did set them to Y? No, they are stopping. Oh, he's manually stopping them. So I guess he did set them to Y and he's just doing a mass hold. And O will not be able to take this outpost under, or, you know, back under his control. I don't think he's going to be able to neutralize this now. There is way too many infantry, or way, way too many defensive units. And bot spawners, bot spawners socketed on a cheesed outpost. That is going to be incredibly difficult for O to take. But now he is starting to stack up some butchers, and butchers do wonders against Longhorn because of their, well, pretty much almost, it's it's basically a soft counter to Longhorn because they have so much health, um, you know, they have light armor, so they have more health to compensate and all that stuff, they do heavy damage, it's crazy, Cold Fusion is just trying to do whatever ass he can while he uh, builds up more units, but Ob making a lot of butchers, six on the field, or sorry, seven on the field already, and six in queue. So let's see what he actually, tra oh, let's see if he chooses to go sometime soon and all of those bot spawners are actually going for this, which is a kind of a waste right now, except to hold the outpost for what it's worth right at this point, which isn't too much, but Cold Fusion, yeah, probably should start to, okay, he is actually approaching mid from the other side, which is hilarious because he can because of the bot spawners on this side of the out, on, on this side of the map. So, oh, now just massing up, will he be sending these out sometime soon? Um, oh, he has butchers linked to the Longhorn. Okay, now he is sending them out on attack, and the butchers are removing hilariously slow right now and massing up jackals. Wow, while Cold Fusion is completely busy with uh, taking middle outposts, will he be able to actually do this? He actually also has butchers. I didn't even realize that, but this huge push is finally coming. Oh, man, chasing one of the creeps. The butchers are getting a little distracted, but this is an overwhelming amount of units and a lot of jackals, and Cold Fusion now finally coming back to the fight, but I don't think this is going to be enough. This is plenty of red units, and this counter push... I don't know if you can really call it a counter push, but this, pretty much this, 
I don't know, revenge push, or however you want to call it. Ob is going to be able to clear house here, finishing off everything over here that Cold Fusion has. Cold Fusion does uh, have mid under his control right now. However, the upkeep difference is 15 to 38. Um, and uh, the ability is not too interesting, just switching just now, but it's heal, heal, and heal. So there you go, guys. Um, however, now Cold Fusion taking the middle outpost under his control. Obo, Ob needs to push now. He This is pretty much the only time he has an upkeep advantage, and the longer he allows Cold Fusion to hold mid, the longer he'll be able to, you know, use that credit income to even out the, you know, the upkeep on the field. Sorry, now, oh, yeah, man, I really wanted to see him push just there. On T, on Y, any possible way. The Cold Fusion actually real low on health. Oh, my God, if he gets finished off right now, that's going to be huge. But, oh, not able to get that kill on Cold Fusion. So, right now, Cold Fusion going to be able to reinforce the mid. And, oh, oh, making some jackals here. If he sends out just the jackals so he can utilize that speed to the best of his ability, this could actually be pretty interesting because oh, Cold Fusion almost definitely has not scouted this, and this top outpost is 100% unguarded, and Ob is going to set these on Y now. Let's see how well this actually does. Cold Fusion coming back to the... Oh, the mid is completely empty. What did he do? He pushed. He actually pushed to the bottom outpost, which will work, setting the creeps in front instead of behind the Longhorn, which is probably not really the best choice, but this time Ob will be able to set these jackals on T, and he will be able to take this top outpost under his control very easily, or at least he will be able to neutralize it while Cold Fusion takes the bottom. Cold Fusion actually real enough needed to get back to that outpost and defend it right now. He actually almost lost it, and he has... Okay, he has been able to take this bottom outpost under his control, and the last Longhorn will eventually die. Cold Fusion setting on Y, but Ob also doing the same thing with the Jackals. Oh, holy hell. This base race is going to be one for the ages. Wow, wow, wow. Cold Fusion now sending some grinders out, but the grinders are actually doing nothing because there's nothing defending over here for, o for Ob. And Ob, with plenty of jackals, needs to set them right on the corner and let him to set him to stop. But they, I think he actually did a circle of death right now. Uh, yes, he did. He is going to go back to start to defend right now. And Cold Fusion actually going back to do the exact same thing, but it's going to be much harder for Cold Fusion because the jackals are on a T-path and they are circling all the way the hell around his outpost or uh, around his fort. And he's taking plenty of damage. And right now, Ob trying to block with whatever he can, trying to body block with his, uh, with his own mech. And the damage is getting uh, poured on on both sides. Neither guy can really do the, uh, you know, the sufficient defense that they really need to do. Oh, getting killed by the Longhorn, but will it matter? Will it matter? Cold Fusion is taking tons and tons of damage just defending with uh, with uh, Butchers, but it doesn't look like it matters, uh, even though that uh, these blue units are taking, or, oh, whoa, no, it's much closer than I thought it was. Oh my god, who's gonna win? Who is gonna win? Uh, oh, now uh, respawning and landing the body block, taking as much as he possibly can, but this is, no, oh, it's barely 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 not enough cold fusion taking this win with all those longhorns sending them all the way from his mid down through the bottom all the way around the post decided to push on why that split second decision definitely helped him right there oh now i get to fly around as the victor huh okay so yeah let's take a quick look at his um this bug is hilarious but like let's take a quick look at his fort um yeah that was a lot of jackals man man i don't know what would have been better keeping these on a uh, circle path because it does get distracted the units do get distracted by, um, like, for example, these butchers that were dropped. So instead of firing at the fort, they fire at the butchers. Uh, so, yeah, this circle might have been better off if Ob just set them on C right at the corner doing tons of damage. Maybe here, maybe a couple here doing a little bit of micro, and then going back for the defense. But either way, wow, what a, what a dynamic game. Um... Cold Fusion going for that with that cheese. Ob noticing it, but not doing the timing. Uh, you know, not getting the timing down properly. Did not catch those assassins. But that huge, huge push while Cold Fusion was distracted trying to take mid. Wow, wow, very, very, very um, non-stop. Pretty much non-stop. Yeah, guys, non-stop. See any non-stop games? Play any non-stop games? Share them with the entire Aramet casting pool. Actually, I want to mention that right now. I'm gonna change my video description for this for this um for this video. I'm gonna link every single. Um, caster in the air mech casting pool and let me pull up my thread actually I'm gonna read that off there are a lot of people that are currently you know signed up to be air mech casters that we have just everyone has to encourage and it is on um, let me read this off right now it's gonna be dissonant molten lava 12 frisky cow secret C turbo gun cold fusion the kumi and anomaly 1975 so guys there's gonna be plenty and plenty of opportunities to not only earn green stars but to enjoy you know air mech you know getting spread on youtube getting getting sort of appreciated as more of a competitive action oriented game and i mean 
only, you know, and you guys can help that out by submitting replays, spectate games. Even if you're not a com competitive player, you can watch plenty of games and anything really cool, send it in and every one of these guys is going to have the opportunity to cast it. So if you're interested in joining the pool, contact me. All you have to do is pretty much assure me that you have the capability to record a game. So like show me a video that you posted kind of thing. You know what I mean? All right, guys. So this is RUI and that's game. Keep in mind what I said. See you next time.